Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app. Episode 688. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. A guided Christian meditation on Romans chapter 15, verses 11 through 13. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace, Jesus Christ. I do that through a couple different styles of meditations. This one will be a full guided Lectio Divina style meditation. That's kind of a condensed version of a centuries old Christian meditation style that you can really beef up and, and really spend some good time with. I also do other episodes of freeform style, which basically means that uh, there's more open space and silence. So please use whichever would help you on your development when walk with God. Let's dedicate this time to the Lord now. Almighty God, please bless our hearts as we meditate on your word and those things which you have for us. And as we say in Jesus' name, amen. In this moment, I want you to focus a little bit on the hope that God offers. Allow feelings of hope to well up in your heart, gentle and soft at first. And allow those elements of hope, those thoughts, those reflections to chase away darkness. Allow that hope to fill your heart with peace and love. Is there any hope in God that is vain? God will certainly provide exactly what we need, the things that we most need. And perhaps that might not be exactly what we desire in the moment, but God will never fail. Place your hope in the Lord, or more specifically, keep your eyes, your will, your mind, and your heart open to the hope of God which can overflow within us. Allow your muscles now to unflex and unwind as you place even more trust in the Lord as you hope in His Word, in His goodness, and His power over those things which would try to destroy you. That they will have no power to do so, the God of heaven being on your side. This hope is not vain. This hope is not wishful thinking, but it's based and rooted in the love of the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, who loves you. Be open and sensitive to the love of God. invite you to open your heart to the best of your ability to try to feel that love of God, to feel the overwhelming love that He has for you, to feel hope that things can get better eternally, to trust in the Almighty that if the God of heaven has allowed your life to go this way, with as much as He loves you and as much power as He has, that it will be for your good in the long run, even though now we don't understand We'll now be reading from Romans chapter 15, verses 11 through 13. I'll be reading today. I'll be reading today from the NIV. First from the NIV version. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah said, The root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations. In him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Continue pondering this scripture. now from the NASB translation. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. Again, Isaiah says, there shall come the root of Jesse, and he who arises to rule over the Gentiles. In him will the Gentiles hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy, and peace in believing, so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I invite you to continue pondering the scripture. Hope is such a valuable and beautiful thing that Jesus brings us. And sometimes it feels like when we speak of hope that it's just barely enough that we, if we can scrape it together, then we can somehow not die and we can survive. But instead, the hope that Christ offers is not some leftover remnant, but a fountain or a spring that flows up through us, through Christ this hope can overflow outside of us. So ponder what role hope plays in your life. How much do you allow yourself to hope for and what things do you strongly hope for? What would you consider as the most important thing to hope in? The hope that God offers is not necessarily the same things that we prioritize. The hope of God is not always those things that we would want in an earthly sense. When the struggles of life are past and they're in the rearview mirror, those things seem distant by comparison. At that time when all the things of the earth are past, we will consider our spiritual and eternal future as children of God to be far more important than anything on earth. But one time an important flight was coming up and I had made a lot of preparations and was gathering my tickets and things and was really stressing out about this ticket. And when it came down to it, after the flight was over, that ticket meant nothing. It could be shredded or discarded. The moment the event was over, the ticket could have been thrown away. It had no value. And this, the same is with the things of this world. Our current desires will seem far less important in a thousand years from now. But the things that God prioritizes, those will remain equal or perhaps even 
of greater importance. The best part of all of this is that in these eternal matters, the Holy Spirit can fill us with overflowing hope in God's power, as it says in the scripture. Power. So ponder now for a moment the things that you hope in. Now, please join me in prayer. Almighty God, please bless us now as we meditate, that we can find your peace, that we can experience that, that we feel of your love and your hope, and that that hope can strengthen us, give us a direction, and help us be confident in the direction that you have for us. As we say in Jesus' name, amen. And now sit in contemplative silence before the Lord.
this final phase of application. So I want you to visualize and summarize. Summarize those things that you've thought about, experienced, or otherwise meditated on here today, and then visualize how you can take those things and change the course of your life or the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis as a result of that. Thank you for joining me today, as always. Whenever I do these meditations, sometimes it's difficult to know exactly how that lands on your heart. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to reach out to me, you can email me at jared at christianmeditationpodcast.com. You can share the podcast on basically any podcast player that you know out there. The website christianmeditationpodcast.com is a great thing to share. Super easy way that you can share it and other people can listen to it is the free iOS and Android app that I put out called Recenter with Christ. It's basically a, a distribution mechanism for the podcast, and you can um, extend it. You can put sleep timers, which can allow you to meditate for longer um, than the meditations go here. So feel free to share that. Above all, what I want, above all, the priority for today is for you to feel the hope of God, to feel that power well to feel that hope well up with inside of you like a spring coming out of a mountain the flows and flows and flows without end god's hope is strong and powerful if we learn to recognize it if we learn to prioritize the same thing god does we will see victory we will overcome the effects of sin and death and the weakness of this world as we are reunited with god and all those who love him. May God bless you with this peace and confidence. It may bring you, may God bless you with this hope and may bring you peace. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.